I'm sat almost exactly where I was sat when I did my bluebell video, which was about a month ago now, and there's no bluebells. All that's left is the uh, little tops of the bluebells that go to seed. So bluebell season's over, which is quite sad, but moving on, there are lots of interesting walks coming up. And today I have been with my walking group walking around Y, 11 mile circular walk that took us up to Kingswood. And I thought I'd video it because generally I don't video the walks um, in as much detail. And I thought it'd be good to give you guys an insight into exactly what happens on the walks from the beginning where we have tea and coffee as you'll see um, all the way through the walk to the lunch stop and thereafter and I thought I'd add some commentary onto it as well so I'm going to do some audio when I get home and yeah make a video that's a bit more interesting and insightful so see what you think let me know in the comments section below what you like if you like this style of video and it just means that I can bring you along a little bit more on the walks that I do um, the group that I organize walks for I created two years ago two and a half years ago and it's something I love to do meeting new people and exploring this part of Kent so I do feel like I have a lot of walks now under my belt and lots of knowledge of this area so um, yeah it's good fun and it's great to meet new people as well so that's always that's always good well hi guys here I'm going to show you what it takes to lift a table out of the back of a car and that is exactly what that is a table it's actually a pretty good picnic table and works very good for teas and coffees uh, so there we go that is that is what i'm doing here but this is a bit boring so let's speed this up a bit um it's actually a very handy table i'm not selling these tables i'm not on commission uh, <laughs> <laughs> I am just putting a table together. I probably could have cut this out, but I thought, you know what? I'll show you the whole process. Let's not leave anything out here because um, it's fascinating. Isn't that great? Right, well done. You put the table up. Okay, what's next? Okay, well, that's hot water. For anyone that doesn't know, there's hot water. And what do you need? What does every good cup of tea and coffee need? Ah, oh, a cup. Genius, well done. So set up all the cups. Right, let's skip forward here. We've got tea, coffee, decaf tea, decaf coffee. I mean, you know, it's pretty straightforward what people want. And uh, milk, that helps. It's uh, organic milk, by the way. Um, but anyway, let's not get into milk. That's a touchy subject. Um, close the car doors. Let's look a bit more professional. Come on now. And now we've just got to wait for people to turn up. Yep, just you on your own, looking like a bit of a loner in the car park. Oh no, put your boots on. That's that make you look busy. <laughs> oh dear, this is this is exactly what it'd be like if I did a podcast. By the way, I mean, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. But here we go. Let's put your boots on really fast and tidy up, and go back to standing and waiting. Yeah, but you don't have a watch on your Orist, so I don't even know why you're looking at that. Most of the time, for anybody who does join me on the walks, they'll know that I just help myself to teas and coffees. <laughs> That's what I'm doing now. They'll know that I'm never this early. I've never got this much time at the beginning of the walk. I literally race in about five minutes or three minutes or let's say 30 seconds before I start serving teas and coffees. Anyway, so there I go. I'm waiting for people, but don't you worry. There they all are. Yippee. Okay, enough of me talking and yabbering on. Enjoy some opening scenes of our walk from Y to Kingswood on our 11 mile journey. <laughs> walking through a field of broad beans right now and if you break a little bit of the leaf off and give it a smell it smells really beany oh. 
Once we were in Kingswood, we joined the Pilgrim's Way, which often follows the same route as the North Downs Way. And you can see us there skipping off into the distance to explore the woods. We're just making our way to a lunch stop um, and there's a sculptures sort of spread through the woods here. So I'll show you the sculpture where we have our lunch. It's a bit older now, though, isn't it? Yeah, a bit older. This is part of the Stour Valley Arts Sculpture Walk. Um, some people thought this was a trumpet and other people thought it was a bluebell. What do you think? So these boxes are used to collect the apples when they're harvested in September and October, but most of the year they just sit there empty. A nice selection of strawberries behind me and we've just stopped at Perry Court Farm which is about two miles away from Wye to have a little loo break and also they've got a lovely little farm shop here as well so people are buying some local produce and then we're going to carry on back to Wye and that'll be us finished our 11 mile walk. <laughs> So that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know again, like I said before, <laughs> something falling through the trees in the comment section below what you think of this style of video. If you like it with the commentary, it's just something a little new I thought I'd try. Um, also, just to mention that if you're not on my Instagram, not follow me on, on Instagram, please do follow me. I've started to do Instagram stories and take pictures pictures of all the walks that I do um, and make a story from it. I'm not very good at it, but it's a bit of fun. So uh, yeah, and also you can put your Instagram down below and I'll, I'll check your Instagram out as well. Uh, but thanks a lot. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a fun walk today and I really hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have and as much as I've made making this video. Uh, I'll see you again very soon on the next walk.